claim your reward at the mouth. <laughs> I love that phrasing. At the mouth. Okay, let's see. Oh, secret lore, here we come! And welcome to GT Not Live, where we are sitting on the couch. I have just gotten back from LA, and I have no clue what's going on. So, Ash, take it away. What is happening in the realm of video gaming right now? Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh yes. I'm you know assuming what? you've taken yeah. the last week of me being in LA doing some deep dives into all the hot, trendy games right now. Oh, I've been, I've been diving into something. <laughs> I will. Okay. <laughs> that much. What have you been diving sure. into? Okay, fill so, me in. There's been, there's been a little, a little game happening around here. Yes. Um, recently, uh -huh. that you might have missed. Okay. Um, the first I heard of this game mm -hmm. was someone begging you, please, Matt Pat, dear Lord, do not play this. <laughs> Wait, really? Yes. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. And you know, originally, I was like, yeah, man, like, don't worry about it. We we won't. Okay, um, and, and yet we are now? Well, and then oh, no. I saw another tweet saying, can someone tell MatPat to please stay away from this game? And I was like, okay, I get it. And then I got a message from Tom. Okay. And he was like, Tally. Mr. Tom? Yeah, he Mr. was like. Mr. Tom over in Britain? In, in Britain. Making his pasties. <laughs> his pasties. His pasties. Yeah, yeah talking about uh -huh. gotten of ban ban. Gotten of um, ban ban. And he was like, I think it'd be fun for Matt to play this. And I was like, you know, I'm on the fence because I've seen some really interesting messages. And he's <laughs> like, I think that'd make it better. And then I oh, saw a flurry oh, of comments, some saying, please play it. Others saying, I don't think you should. Wow. So this one's divisive. Yeah. If you go on Steam, um, the reviews come up and it just says mixed. Huh. It really? is split. Yes. Wow, split down the middle, huh? Yes. Okay. It seems like Twitter and YouTube have very different ideas of this game, so I think it'd be fun. <laughs> Let um, me guess, Twitter hates it. You know, I have no <laughs> idea how you guessed that. <laughs> what? That's... Twitter hates a thing? Wow. Get out of here. Then I am morbidly curious about what this has in store. <laughs> so YouTube likes it, Twitter doesn't like it, half our comments like it, half our comments don't like it. Mr. Tom over in the UK likes it. Well, what is Gar- okay, I, we'll find out. All yeah. right, so here, let's- I, it's right here. It looks- I mean, immediately, right? It looks very... Rainbow Friends? Like, I immediately think of Rainbow Friends or Poppy Playtime, right? Like, you yeah. see, you know, oh, I'm the green version of Huggy Wuggy! <laughs> what are these guys supposed to- <laughs> I- I love that he has two party hats. He's like, I came to party twice! <laughs> Like, not, I'm not just partying one time over, I'm partying twice over. And then, of course, you have, like, the female version of it, because the female version is always, like, white plus pink. It's basically the fun time animatronic version. We got, um... So I'm assuming this is Ban-Ban. Because his Ban-Ban... Wow, there's already a sequel?! What? <laughs> Where have I been? I've been gone for a week, and they're like, Garden of Ban-Ban, Garden of Ban-Ban 2. And also a merch button in-game. Oh, get awesome merch! <laughs> Wow, this thing really, this thing took, I have not heard anything about this. I mean, granted, so I was gone in LA for the last week because um, we had a lot of uh, things to do out there. We were filming for the new channel. Uh, we were also there for the Last of Us premiere, which was great. Uh, there was a lot of things that we had to do. So I'm coming back in blind to a lot of this. Uh, I like the flamingo character. That's cool. We got like little muscle bro. I am little muscle bro. And then finally you got uh, the jellyfish. Looks legit. Okay. Boots. 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 All right, Garden of Bandman. So here I am. I'm going to pass my judgment on this. I will say character design. I, I, I'd i say character de Since this is the controversial one, that'll be the theme of this episode, right? I'll, I'll pass judgment. So uh, character design feels a bit hit or miss, right? Uh, I already see the inspirations from the Poppy Playtimes and Rainbow Friends of the World. Uh, I like... I think the flamingo looks cool. I like the jellyfish. I'm intrigued about this guy. He's cute. These three, ah, we'll see how they, they're implemented, but they feel a little bit blobby. Also, this guy did not skip forearm day. Let's just say that. Certainly not. No, he's he's like biceps. Pff, forget that. Ah, oh, right there. Just do those wrist curls all day, every day, bro. <laughs> it's 
great. All right, ban ban. Let's see it. Let's see what the controversy has in store for us. For a parent looking for their missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click the clock to advance time. And I can skip it. For a parent looking for their missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click the clock. So we're advancing time. I feel I feel like I should skip this. Is, it, is this actually a gameplay? Because on one hand, I'm like, oh, I would skip this because I don't want to advance time. By advancing time, I'm losing the chance to find my kid. So now there is like a plank of wood and some hammers over there. All right, there's paperwork. That's open. Mysterious gas over there. It's like it's like a spot in the difference game. I'd love a scary spot the difference game. By the way, any any game developers out there, make me a scary spot the difference game. That'd be amazing. Oh, no, it's spooky and dark at three o'clock because it's always spooky and dark at three o'clock. And now that's where we begin. Huh? That's it. That's weird. <laughs> Let's just resize oh, everything. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so Ash doesn't have to completely re-edit everything, <laughs> every frame. Great. Garden of Ban Ban. <laughs> what is Garden of Ban Ban? But like Kindergarten? Garten? Like Kindergarten of Ban Ban? Ban Ban's the character, maybe. Anyway, well, That's something German. Right. We're gonna find out. Okay, so a big, big red button up there. What else we got? Ban Ban's. Oh, it, Ban Ban's Kindergarten. Duh. Okay. I uh, got a key. Interact. Blue key for blue door. J oh, his name's Jumbo Josh, so he's not clay. Jumbo Josh says, eat vegetables and fruits to become strong like me. So I'm assuming blue door's over there, but let's explore before we move on. Stinger Flynn says, having many arms allows me to help a lot more people. <laughs> Except for the fact that each of those arms stings them. Oh, see, this is a shame. This is sad. Like, th that that's a blow right there. You're not restocking the vending machine. Bad look. Bad, bad look, friends. Not okay. Well, not a whole lot to explore, so okay, we got the we got the blue card. Let's do it. Boop. Boop. Okay, there it is. Oh, cool, we get a drone? That's okay. How can people not like this? You get a drone! Okay. Achieved drone. Go! Active! Oh, two <laughs> requires two batteries. Alright. What do we got? Dear mommy, I am hiding in a room, but I have to fight the monster. It is the only chance to make Claire like me. Me with my <laughs> Me with my knife! I'm <laughs> let's let's leave the monster aside for a second. Where'd you get the knife, kid? Where, where we find the knife in the kindergarten? Just throwing that one out there. Okay, so it looks like we're, like we're fighting the flamingo guy and Claire. So we want Claire to like us. Oh, I'm so hot for you because you fought the ostrich monster. Great. Okay, so I need two batteries. And I can hop up the boxes maybe. No, nothing. Hello? No. What do we got? Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I hate receptacles for trash. Get out of here. Urgh, any batteries in you? No. Didn't see any batteries before when I was wandering around. So either they spawned without me knowing, or... Aha! They did spawn. Any in and around the vending machines? No. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Well, that, that was simple. Great. Two batteries. Unlocked. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that's cool. I like that. Hello. Okay, you're a little bit too close for comfort, bud. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Okay, left mouse button to use your toy. Can I... Alright, we gotta come up with a name for the drone. Right mouse button to teleport to the nearest room. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna unlock, maybe? I call him... I call him... 
Kelvin? Ooh. I was going to say something that rhymes with drone. Pwn the drone. Pwn the drone. <laughs> Phone home, drone. Okay. Jerome? Jerome the drone! I like it. That's the one. That's a win. <laughs> so, oh, wait, we just had to hit the two, I guess. They were two. Okay. Here we go. Onward! Jerome, come with me. Oh, 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 look at him! <laughs> He's looking at me! I got my knife! Stay away, weird ostrich creature. He's so cute. Here, drone, can you check him out? Go get him. Go, attack. Attack, drone. Wait, drone, 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 Dr drone. <laughs> Teleport. T okay, there you are. Okay, now go, attack. Attack the creepy ostrich. Attack the flamingo. Yeah, get him! Get him! <laughs> Unfazed. Get him! Get go! Attack! Jerome, go for it! Alright, fine. Hey bud. <laughs> I like that we're being stalked by an awkward like an awkward ostrich. It's awesome. Okay, who we got here? No, oh, hey, Jerome. No. Oh, wait, what? Why can't I go here? What? Can I... Can you go in? Go! Activate! Oh, it's, it's glass. That makes more sense. Well, the evil ostrich went there, so I'm gonna go this way. Just, just to stay... Okay, the toy cannot directly... Com the toy cannot be directly commanded to breakable materials such as glass. Okay, fair enough. Ban Ban says, Sharing is caring! Your pa- <laughs> <laughs> Sharing is caring! Your pancreas is mine! <laughs> I'm happy to be a donor for you, Ban Ban. <laughs> don't, don't want you having to live without your pancreas and all that. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's on the wall. They felt strong enough about that one to be on the wall. Uh, okay, we got an exit door. What else we got? Anything interesting? The end is here. Okay. <laughs> the naughty corner. Oh, jeez. All right, bud. Uh, can you break this glass? Like, it said I'm not allowed to command you through glass. Okay. Do I, can I, like, teleport you this way, maybe? Ah, nothing. Oh! Oh, <laughs> no! Whoops. <laughs> apparently, apparently they lied about that instruction. Or maybe this is going to get me in trouble, and that's why everyone's going to start killing me. No? Did I miss? Can it not be activated yet? Okay, it can't be activated yet, which means we got to go the other way. <laughs> oh, Cap Captain Fiddles, huh? <laughs> I've, you know, when I was coming up with ideas about what this character might represent or what his name might be, Captain Fiddles, not really on the short list. Gotta, gotta be honest, Captain Fiddle says, Ooga Booga, Booga Ooga. Great. Banbolina. <laughs> Kindness is free, so sprinkle it everywhere. Then give me your pancreas. You know what, I'll give you a spleen. I'll give you a liver. Oh, ominous. Cool. Lean liver, but pancreas? I don't know. Ooh, hello, egg. Okay, we got our, ourselves the old red boat. We're collecting East, literal Easter eggs. That's fun. This, see, this looks like a bang and soft play area. Gotta say, like if I was a kid in kindergarten, this looks this looks pretty swell. You know, little 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 sparse. Little oh hey, lore note. Okay, bring a friend day stickers. Caution, peel slowly. Can, can I peel them? Nope, apparently not. All right. <laughs> but I wanted to bring a friend. I was prepared to peel slowly. All right, what else we got? Anything under the tables? Doesn't really look like it. Anything up there? Not so much. Oh! Do we have ourselves a daycare attendant? 
going to chase me through these poorly optimized. I love that all these games nowadays are like, we're going to have curly slides, but our geometry and curls don't really work super well together. So you're like awkwardly chunk. Ooh. Go. Attack, attack the ostrich. Flamingo, he's a flamingo, right? We can agree that he's a flamingo. Presumably, but maybe like a dodo bird. Ooh, maybe dodo. We can't really know what a dodo looked like though, right? Because we're, we're not 100% sure. We're not, extinct. we don't fully know no about the dodo. The dodo? Yeah. All right, what do we got? So it seems like he's un deactivated right now. Oh, here's another egg. Ball pit closed. Hmm. Opila. Oh, Opila. Opila bird? Opila bird mission. Opila bird is unbelievably hungry. Feed it six eggs. Oh, shoot. I should have been counting. How many eggs? How many eggs have we gotten? Let's see. There's one, two. Is there one over there? Three. I know we at least have three. One. Two, just just sliding down the old gun. Oh, he's veiny. He's, he's veiny. he have been roiding up. Okay, find find more eggs. I thought he had more than just those two. All right, find more eggs. Uh, nothing on the swing set. Was there anything in the slide? Well, yeah, we'll we'll go back and check the slide. Okay. Don't worry. Don't, oh, don't you worry. Okay. Good. Man, teeter totters. The biggest lie of any playground. They seem like they should be so fun. And yet, you know, the the actual mechanics that are required to get them to work properly. Like you gotta find a kid that's willing to play with you and the kid has to be like the right size. Yeah. Or you're constantly having to pump the entire, oh, it's, it's, it's a hot mess. The hottest of messes. Ooh, hello. What do you do? What do you do? Hmm. Does that do something? Interesting. Anything in this tree? Doesn't really look like it. The eggs aren't particularly hard to find. Uh, up here? Yeep! No. So, I'm looking for my lost... Am I, the, am I the lost kid or am I looking for the lost kid? That is the question I have. Hmm. I'm assuming I'm the lost kid because they're like, oh, play with your toy. Oh, hello! All right, so I'm thinking that switch activated that thing, which now is allowing me to do that. Okay. Oh, here's an egg. Hello. Hello. Okay. How are we doing? This knot hole seems like a possibility. No. Okay. How are we doing? How are we doing, Opila bird? Mm, shove it in there. Delicious. Oh, 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 it's like puking it up. Ugh. Oh, hello. Is there, is there someone in you that's like, they did it. Here you go. Worst job in the kindergarten ever. Okay. Yellow. Yellow card, which I think was back here, right? Come with me, Jerome. He's like, that sounded like him being surly. He's like, no, I'm not coming with you. All right, activate. Now that we've broken through the naughty corner. Nice. Ooh, all right. Hey, how's that Opila bird doing over there? Doing fine, okay. What else we got? Oh. Distraction at one. So this has to do with distraction at one. So I think this goes back to the timer thing at the beginning, right? Because we fast forwarded through time. And so we're starting the game at three. But I think if we had skipped at the very beginning, it would yield us something different. And I wonder if this is telling us distraction at one. Interesting. Because it's easy to forget that that was like the framing device at the beginning, and they actively had us doing something. Which makes me suspicious about what the goal here is. Okay, so we still don't have purple. 
Although you can kind of see that there's something there, so we're going to come there. We don't have orange yet. Okay, so we have... We have ourselves our hammer. You're going to come to life. I know you're going to come to life. Oh, ooh, ooh, hey! He's got a handprint. Oh, he's got a couple handprints. Oh, okay. I thought I thought at first it was one of those like Five Nights at Freddy's uh, FNAF 1 era theories where it's like, oh, he's got the dead kid's handprint on his face and everyone's like, oh, I see it in the texture. And everyone was unclear whether that was real or not. Okay, get out of here. But I guess not. Okay. Got yellow. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Bird tracks. Hmm. All right. So he can. So he can clearly uh, walk up the walls. What's his name? Pila Bird says laughter is the best medicine. So make sure to smile. Oh, that's very nice of you. Emergency stop. And this rotates around. Okay. So I'm gonna hit this. And, oh, hello. Ooh, that moved much faster than I anticipated. Oh. Oh, I was not on it. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops! You're still there, right, Apila Bird? All right, you stay there. You're gonna, you're gonna come after me, bro, aren't you? Oh my Ooh. God! Oh my... Right, it is it is going going hard right now. Was I, I? So I actually physically have to jump on it. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I can clearly walk across this very small, strideable gap. No, don't be a fool, Matt Pat. This requires you to jump. That is a full jump worthy. Bye. <laughs> He's coming at me. I know. I'm just waiting for the hammer to drop here. I'm just waiting for the moment. You know it's coming. This ain't my first time at the kindergarten. Opila bird. I see what's going on. I see through your plot. All right. I feel a little bit safer on this side, but I also know he can climb up the pit, so... Alright. What was my color? I'm gonna just teleport Jerome over here. Hey, Jerome. I'm gonna have to hop on things. Okay. What was my color? Okay, Ban Ban is red. Uh, Ban ba Ban Banina. Ban Bina. Is white, technically? Maybe it's that pink color. Is white an option? Okay, white. Uh, clay, or what, uh, Jumbo, Jumbo Jiggles, <laughs> whatever his name was. I like to think of him as Clay, because that's the hidden lore name for him. Uh, you, Opila Bird, are pink. You, Captain Oingo Boingo. <laughs> oh, near that! Uh, you are bluish, and then you are orange. Mr. I like to use my tentacles to help people. There we go. Yeah. I was paying attention to basic character design. Yay me. Orange. Ooh, hey, we got lore. Okay, I alone. I want to play with the whole bird, but everyone left me. Everyone have party without me. Miss Mason see me go. I am scared. Oh, what the heck? What? I, I was reading lore! I was reading the lore, man! <laughs> what? R. Oh, do we have death screen lore? We have death screen lore! Oh, man, it's... Press E to be reincarnated. Oh, we've got death screen lore. Mmm. We've got meta lore. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, this... I like that this game has clearly seen the recipe from all other games that we play. It's like, hmm, brightly colored, simple designed monsters. Check. That's uh, Rainbow Friends. Uh, let's see, we've got Death Screen Lore, that's Poppy Playtime. Vaguely menacing childhood stuff, that's literally all of them. Check, 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 check. Easy to create fan art out of. Check. Cute names, but also tongue-in-cheek humor with I Want Your Pancreas. Check. Done. <laughs> Horror game masterpiece right here. E to be reincarnated, okay. That's interesting phrasing. E to be reincarnated. Oh, okay. So. Okay, so <laughs> he's riding on over. Here I am. I, I'm busy reading my lore. 
I'm scared because hole is loud and my friends scream in it, but bird is funny. I mean, bird is funny. Can you, can you hit this? Hey, bud. Can I, can you hit this button or something? Oh, oh, it turns red now. Okay. Oh, okay, go! Go! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I like that he's like, just watching us. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I love his animation, actually. Okay. Okay, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Alright. Ooh, he's kinda fast. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, wait. Emergent. Button him. Oh! oh. <laughs> Alright. I know you can pop up, though. I know you're gonna come back for me, because you're right here. You're gonna climb the wall like a weird, a weird, like, spider creature. Oh, and the dots are his beak, I think. So he's, like, almost repelling himself. He's like, stick, stick, beak, hold himself up, hoist. <laughs> That's actually pretty brilliant. I like the detail. Uh, okay. Hello, ball pit closed. Okay, anything new here? Ooh, screen tearing, huh? Screen tearing. I, I see that ripping to shreds. This isn't even on best mode. And this is our new computer, too, so it's not us. Oh, rip that screen in half. Mm. Oh, wow. It's, it got really bad. For some reason, some reason it got really bad after that encounter. I wonder why. It's like, there's too much action in this game. There's Naughty Corner. Okay, so we got orange. Hmm. See what we got. Distraction at one. I'm intrigued. And we got some more lore. Boarding pass. Uthman Adam, Montreal. From Montreal to Madrid. 2016. Gate B13. Here. Got a QR code in a game? Gotta check that QR code, man. I like that. Not many people have done this. What is this? Okay. This is the uh, the Euphoric Brothers. Euphoricbrothers.com. JJ Lounge. Euphoricbrothers.com. JJ Lounge is what this unlocked as a website. Um, here. It's, it looks like this. I'll read it to you. Congratulations. You've made it to the Jumbo Josh Lounge. This is where Jumbo Josh and his siblings come to rest. Uninvited guests are typically turned to mush, but you seem to have put in a lot of effort into reaching this place. I mean, not really. Let's be honest, it's been pretty simple. Uh, hereby, you may stay as long as you like, put on some relaxing music, have some cake, and make some friends. So it's also interesting, so Jumbo Josh is the green one, right? Clay, what I keep calling. But there's also a pink, a yellow, a orange, and a blue one here on this particular screen. I don't know if that means anything. The birthday cake has a one candle in it. It is unlit. I don't know if there's any lore stuff there, but I'm just calling it out. So that's what the boarding pass leads us to. That's cool. I like, I like that there's a QR code. I like that there's some element of crossing out of the game and into real life. That's cool. Uh, so we're in 2016. I appreciate that. Boarding time 323. Just keep track of those numbers in case they become important at any point. We got a TV here. Can I activate the TV? Got a red button. Mysterious red button. And I know that on modern day TVs, all they have is one button that activates everything. Oh, hey. Hello. Okay, we got a switch. Uh-huh. Hey, bud. Jerome, activate! Go! Press the button that is definitely within my normal everyday reach. Based on my height. Gonna start a TV. What does that do? Huh. Did that open purple? Get out of here, chair! What did that open? I'm just, I bet I could use this chair to glitch through whatever. I almost guarantee that. Hello? I'm still waiting for him to like show up. The end is here. That seems all activated. 
back. Oh, hey. No, this is where we started. Is it here? Hmm. Let's see. Is it this opening door? No, it does. I mean, it does seem like it would be weird for us to have to backtrack this far. Because the. Oh, oh, hello. Oh! For you. <laughs> hello. Secret lore tape! Oh man. Poor kids. Poor kids in indie horror games. <laughs> what have we done? What have we wrought upon the world? All right, so it, it sounded like things just... Ch <laughs> on one hand, I'm like, oh no, these poor kids are gonna have an awful thing happen to them. On the other hand, it just looked like, it just sounded like they knocked over a shelf. It, was, it wasn't particularly like, oh no, I'm a bunch of kids dying a horrific death at the hands of these horrific monsters. It was more like, oh, I have minorly inconvenienced the janitorial staff. <laughs> these darn kids in their darn kindergarten. Cool. So now... Boots! Nothing boots. Nothing up here. Hmm. So we still haven't opened purple. Feels like we're gonna have to open purple at some point. Right? Still nothing with purple. What did that do? <laughs> This is one of those games where you have to, like, run back and forth a bunch of times to see, like, what has changed? Something new and ominous has happened, and you're not really 100% sure where it's supposed to go. Here. Is it? Whoa! 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 Hey! Oh. Oh. Oh, weird. <laughs> okay, I like that I missed the obvious thing on the wall. Hello? You gonna come back? You gonna, you gonna come back? Hello? Hello? Oh. Huh. Oh, that's ominous. Not great. I love, I love, I love the fact that there's just like the, the broken bar right there. Here, before we go, I feel like that is leading us to either the next level or to something else, right? Like that feels like a very definitive leaving this floor. Which makes me think, is there a purple key card? Anywhere. Let me let me toss around all these tables and chairs. Yeah, get out of here. Go. Garten of Ban Ban. It might have to do with the one o'clock thing, actually. That's my guess. I feel like this purple opening the purple room must be some sort of Easter egg or a secret achievement, right? That's that is my guess. And it has to do with the distraction at one. Distraction at one seems odd. The only other time that I can associate that with is the beginning of the game, right? Where all of a sudden there is... Where all of a sudden you have all of these, like, there is actually a time code. Can you... I feel like these fans... Like, the cameras and the fans are suspicious to me. And we have this drone, and he hasn't done anything. I mean, outside of, like, pushing buttons, right? Can we push the... Can we push the fans? I'm very skeptical of this, but it feels like maybe the keycard is, like, hiding on top of one of the... Like, this is the room where the gameplay actually happened, right? So it makes me think that there's something in here. I won't spend too long. I don't want to like waste too much time here. I could be chasing up a, the wrong tree. But my like gamer senses are saying like this room is where if if the key card exists, it's going to be somewhere around here, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're just going to hit the fans. Like push the fans like a button. Boop. No, because he is hitting them hard. This one has a purple sheen to it. Can you get over there, Jerome? Jerome! I just want more time with Jerome. Okay, Jerome, Jerome's struggle bussing. <laughs> you kind of got to... I will say, so the drone mechanic, I kind of like. 
but it's also a little bit obnoxious because you have to reset them every time because his pathing just doesn't make sense. Like, that's... Huh. And then there was that button, too. Here, this is the last one. Come on. There we go. Why do you have all these speakers and stuff? There's got to be something. Ooh! Did that make a sound? Is that like a... It sounded... I heard some... It, it's, he made a different sound than usual, didn't he? Here. Let's... Let's see... I guess not. Did that... Maybe it was an at now. Shoot! I don't know. I guess my gamer senses were wrong this time. Hello. Let's go! Down into the depths! Show me what you got! Yeah, this makes me feel real safe. Feeling real good about this one. Bye! Jerome, come with me! Jerome! Jerome the drone. Hello! Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Oh, okay. Hi. Where are you at? What's going on? Are you coming up? Nope. Oh! Uh oh! 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 <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh -huh. What do we got? <laughs> that's it! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Thanks for playing, and now the sequel. A sequel feels a bit strong, <laughs> let me just say. This was like a demo. This was a demo of a game. I, I also love the fact that, of course, true to all of these games, like, your main guy is Ban Ban and you don't see him the whole time because that's always how these games work. Okay, I see why... I see both sides of the coin here, right? I see why people are mad about this. It is... it wears its influences on its sleeve. It is very obvious what it's going for here, right? It is like, hey, that... Poppy Playtime was a really successful thing. Hey, that Rainbow Friends was a really successful thing. Hey, that, I mean, even before, like, Five Nights at Freddy's been, like, you, you see the influence, right? You got a drone that hits high up buttons, like the stretchy hand from Poppy Playtime. You have the characters that are designed in very simple ways, like Rainbow Friends. Like, I get it. I understand. At the same time, though, I don't, like, yeah, it's very heavily riffing off of those things, and, and it feels very derivative of them. It's goofy, it's fun, it's, it was stupid, and plus this one was free. If they had made me pay for this, right, this was free? Yeah. Yeah, you told me that, right? Okay. So, if, if they had made me pay for that, yeah, I'd be mad. You know, if it was like a $3 thing, like that was, that was a demo, if anything, that was a proof of concept. I like it. I, I like the characters, I think, I think they're onto something. Um, the character design's fun, the, the idea is goofy. I will say the drone mechanics are rough, and force you to wait too long in a game where urgency matters, right? So, like, for instance, when the Opila bird is coming at me and the only thing I have is, like, point drone at button and wait, you know, you don't feel like you have agency and it fe you, you have this awkward disconnect of you taking action and stuff actually happening, and that feels limiting. And I think... In that one instance where you have an Opila bird who's kind of dancing around you, which is funny, that's that's cool. I like that I got a sense of the monster there. But you're ultimately, like, if you're trying to increase intensity in moments, you're ultimately going to undercut that with that gameplay mechanic because you're constantly sitting there waiting for your awkwardly controlled drone to do something, right? So I think losing the drone in Garden of Banban 2 and figuring out some other mechanic that isn't a stretchy hand but kind of is a stretchy hand is going to function better than what you think. Um, real quick, I'm curious if I start the game at 1 o'clock. So I'm going to do new game. And I'm going to start it at 1. So this is not 1. That's about, like, what? 10, 10 o'clock, 11, 12, 1. And this door is open now. So, oh, maybe this is the purple door being opened. So if I skip at this point... So we're starting maybe at 1 o'clock? 
Here, we're just gonna speed run this beginning. So let's see. The blue key card was here. Is the, oh yeah, because we have to get the yellow, yellow door open. Okay, so here we go. Open this. Right, because that's the one hour of the day where it says distraction at one and also at, uh, and we saw the door actively open, right? And here's the thing. I have high hopes for what the, the devs are doing with this because they had that QR code. I liked that. I thought that was a really cool detail. I also just like the fact that they're thinking through, like that, that time mechanic at the beginning. That is interesting to me. I don't know how well it's being implemented yet, the idea is a little bit confusing, but I think it's it's something different that I haven't seen before. So there's some cool ideas here. Okay, so that's gonna open yellow. Peel a bird, hanging out, I'm gonna get you! Distraction at one o'clock. Hmm. But see, you see the door open and we see t to him, right? So that's telling us that this door was able to open. Here, okay. Here, let's let's quickly speed run our way through it. Okay, one, we need six eggs. One, two, two. One, two. Here, uh, Ash, will you look to see if there is anything about opening the purple door. On it. Thank you, because I suspect it has to do with this, I think it, it must have to do with the one o'clock thing, and then at some point, there. I'm assuming there might be something else we have to do. Okay. Need Jerome. Jerome, activate. Oh my God. See, like, stuff like this, it's like, it's, it's taking a long time to do stuff, which it really shouldn't. And so on one hand, I like having like my little drone friend, but on the other hand, it slows down the pace of the game a lot. Where you at, bud? Rome, where'd you go? I summoned you here. Why are you not here? Why are you not here, friend? There you go, and now activate. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Boop -a -doop. <laughs> here, I'm gonna listen to hear if there was a sound difference. Okay, oh, so he does do that. So that sound is the same thing every time. It's that kind of like boop boop. gotta be something. Oh, get it. See, and also he's getting caught on trees and stuff. And again, like, this is the reason why right now the drone mechanic isn't quite there. Distraction at 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. Hmm. I might have found a potential way to get through the door. Okay, what is it? Um, you have to get all of the Easter eggs first. Okay. And go into the other space. And go into the other space? So Like when you knock down the ha with the hammer, the okay. wood. And there's not like a secret Easter egg hanging out or something? Um, per chance, but you have to go past the... Okay. Yeah. So you have to go... So I should feed him? Yep. Two, three, four... Yeah, see? Okay, feed eggs. Oh, there's the one. I know I missed one. Okay, five, six. There we go. Okay, so you're saying feed the eggs. And there's you need to knock down the... Get the key card. I think it's there. Okay. And knock down the door. Yeah. To the other room? Okay. Go here. We activate this thing. Okay, can't be commanded through breakable glass, but we can command it to this. 
which then allows it to do breakable glass. And now it goes through there. Okay, great. So now we broke the glass. That's there. <laughs> Into the naughty corner. That unlocks that. We have our secret note. Distraction at one distraction at one o'clock, which we know. Peel a bird. Okay, so purple's there. So you're saying open the open it over there? Yeah. Okay. Go through or no? Yes. Go through. And you need to go around. Go all the way over? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Here it is. This guy. Our little chairlift. Very slow chairlift. Very slow. Nope, I'm I'm hop. <laughs> Great. Boom. Great. I just wanted to go into the ball pit. R, R again. Hmm. Interesting sound effect. E to be reincarnated. Go for it. It's like you died to a very basic jump. Okay. It might be the most deadly thing in this game. Honestly, this jump feels like the most deadly thing right now. The fact that, like, the, it's, it's a couch, like a chair lift, but you have to leap on top of the back of the chair. To, it's like, you can extend the chair out a little, a little bit more or something here. All right. Okay. So I got to do the puzzle? No. No, do not do the puzzle. Don't do the puzzle. Grab the lore. Shh. Grab the what? The lore. Oh, grab the lore? Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna go onto that little. Uh, I can't believe I missed the lore the first time. By the I way, I know that was sad. I want to play with the whole the whole bird, but everyone left me. Everyone in the party's without me. Miss Mason, see me go. Uh, I'm scared because the hole is loud and my friends scream in it. But bird is funny. Okay. So go up on that ramp. Uh, up on the ramp. Okay. Look up. Uh, sideways. There's gonna be like a little like platform that's hanging. What? Up. Yeah, there. So if you see it at a certain angle, you'll see there's a little lump. Are you there. kidding me? Oh, no way. And bring it back around. No way. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was incredibly hard to find. <laughs> wow. Good one. Who found that? Shout out to whoever. Shout tutorial. out to Poppy Future. On Poppy YouTube. Future. Poppy Future, well done. Clap and a half. Wow. That was hard. That that was a tricky one. So now we feed it to Opila. Yep, yep. And then she's gonna give us a gonna give us a purple. Alright. Entirely possible. Let's see. Pop it in. Feed more in there. Yes! Cool! Again, like oh they found the secret one. Let's put this in here. Claim your reward at the mouth. <laughs> I love that phrasing. At the mouth. Okay, let's see. Oh, secret lore, here we come! Uh, did it have to be at one o'clock or no? Unclear. Okay. Because the, the distraction at one o'clock is still intriguing to me. So this is the room that we're seeing in the opening. Oh, another boarding pass. B13. This one's by Weaverly Mason, Montreal to Madrid. Let's see what this one leads to. I love this. This is cool. Ooh, hello. So this one says, it really hurts. <laughs> That's what I got. So I'm scanning the QR code right now, and it just says, it really hurts. Can we see? I mean, no. Uh, here, actually, what I can show you here. What I'll do is, so I'll scan it. Here in a second. I will take a picture of it. Okay. Okay. So here you go. Okay. No. No need to crop it. You can save it. Save it. Save it. Great. Okay. It's in screenshots now. Here we go. Here we go. Can you read it? It, it really hurts. It really hurts? Yeah. Yeah. 
So that's, so you know how sometimes when you scan a QR code, it, it puts a link up in the bottom and you click the link and that's how I got to that first website. This time you scan the QR code and it says it just really, it really hurts. Hmm. Man. Life be that way. It really do. Maybe he's talking about his back. It we, really hurts. It really hurts. It's really sore right now. <laughs> back pain is real. Anything else in here? Was that it? All right, so we got a little bit of extra lore. So we got a new character name. We know that there are two people on this mysterious flight. It's interesting. It's an interesting detail. That the top there has some, like, extra scribble on the board. You can tell that it's been erased. It's interesting. I don't, like, I don't know. I don't think there's anything there. It's just a nice little touch. And I don't know if that's just the pre-built pre asset or what. Does anything change or is that good? You know, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. This, this feels like we're probably pretty good at this point. Huh. So there you have it, friendos. Huh. So there you have it. I would say that is about it for Garten of Ban Ban. Let me know. Did you like it? Did you not? I am cautiously optimistic. Again, you can see the influences that it's wearing on its sleeve. It's not hiding that at all. And I think anyone who has existed in this space at all can very clearly see what's going on here. But between hiding a couple Easter eggs in tricky to find places, between the QR codes that are revealing like interesting like little lore bits or whatever, which I think is fun, I am cautiously optimistic about this one. I think as a proof of concept, I am intrigued for more. And so bring it on. Bring it on, Garten of Ban Ban 2. We'll see what you have in store for us. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. So remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya.